Hey everyone, Tony D and Little Joan with your Hollywoke hot take. Uh, today we're going to look at this article from Deadline. Black and brown indie producers press Hollywood for more commitments to end systematic racism. Open letter. Um, I have a solution to end systematic racism in Hollywood. Make a bunch of cool black and brown movies. I mean, they've already kind of done that. You may have heard of this little movie called Black Panther. Uh, it was the 10th highest grossing movie of all time. Made $1.3 billion. I'm pretty sure they're going to make a sequel to it. I'm pretty sure they're going to make a third sequel or a third movie with it. I'm pretty sure they're going to make a TV show about it. Um, and maybe even a spinoff. <laughs> because, again, it made $1.3 billion worldwide. So, uh, Hollywood is not designed to end systematic racism. It's not designed to socially engineer humanity. And it's barely designed to make movies, quite frankly. So, going to Hollywood to end systematic racism seems like, I guess, a laudable goal, but not a very realistic one because I don't see systematic racism ending, partly because it's not really clearly defined what it is, right? So, what is it? Like, does it mean that when I turn on a movie, it's black or brown a percentage of time equal to the percentage of the population? So, there's the percentage of the population is 13% black, approximately. So if 13% of all the movies are black, does that make them, does that make it acceptable? Is there, is there a way of quantifying it? I mean, 10th highest grossing movie of all time. Pretty sure everybody in Hollywood wants to make black movies now. Pretty sure they do. Pretty sure they have for a few years. Um, I have personally dealt with black and brown movie producers. I don't really care what color they are. Um, I don't know why you would care what color they are. Uh, it just seems to me that if you make a bunch of good movies, Hollywood will shower you with money. And if you guilt them into making movies... Uh, you'll maybe get some money, but if those movies fail, then what are you going to do? Uh, remember when they made all these movies with women in them? Lady Ghostbusters, Lady Ocean's Eleven, um, the super lady version of Charlie's Angels. How'd that go? Not too well. Not too well. And now that trend's over. Now it's like, ugh. oh, we're going to do, we want to do an all female this. Ooh, I don't know. We lost a lot of money with those all female reboots. Uh, apparently nobody wants to see them. That is exactly what would happen in this case if you follow that same pattern. It's, they're just going to, okay. I mean, because, you know, Hollywood is already super woke. I'm calling it Holly Woke. People call it Holly Woke. Uh, <laughs> it's the wokest place on earth, basically. You can't get more woke than Hollywood. I mean, seriously, the entire state of California is Democrat and like super lefty Democrat. Um, you know, every celebrity is super woke just about. You know, you're you're complaining in the one place in the world where you shouldn't be complaining. I mean, there are plenty of other places in the world you should maybe complain about systematic racism, but 
I mean, if Hollywood's racist, I mean, at this point, <laughs> what do you really think you're going to end systematic racism if you can't end it in the wokest place on earth where people literally will bend over backwards to do anything you want? Uh, I, I, I just don't see the need for this. What I see the need for is not to fall into a trend. Because if you fall into a trend, if you pressure Hollywood, make more black and brown movies, they will. They'll do it. And when enough of them fail, they'll say, well, that trend's over. And, you know, that it'll go out of the news and then, then nobody will get any work. If you're not building yourself up because of your talent, if you're only building yourself up because, well, I'm a... I'm a black talent or I'm a brown talent. That's, you know, once the trend ends, then that, that adjective doesn't matter. Jordan Peele didn't build himself up because he's black. He, he's a really good comedian. He, Jordan, P, uh, Key and Peele was a great show. Everybody watched it. And now he, he directed a great movie or a hit movie. I don't know if it's great. It's pretty good. Get Out's pretty good. Um, it's okay. I had some problems with it, but overall it's good. Um, you know, and now he's now he's a big time movie director, right? And he, he hosts The Twilight Zone. I mean, he, he did that not because he's black. He did it because he's talented. Um, you know, Will Smith. Guy is an actor. He's a singer. It's a very talented guy. Talent rises to the top in Hollywood. The whole cast of uh, Black Panther. Michael B. Jordan, man. There's a guy. He's at the top of his game. You want to get black and brown movies produced? Talk to these guys. They're the biggest guys in Hollywood. They're huge names. You put Michael B. Jordan in your movie, it'll get distribution instantly. Same thing with any of the other big stars. Will Smith, still Denzel Washington, absolutely. Uh, there's plenty of black faces out there. Samuel Jackson, Morgan Freeman. These guys can get movies made like that. And they become big movies simply by the dint that they are in them. So, uh, I don't know who you're sending these letters to, but you should probably be sending a letter to them and saying, hey, be in our movie. Help us. Because if they did, that would totally work. This, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think it's a good strategy. Uh, I think, you know, if you follow that strategy that the ladies followed, like, oh, you're going to put more women in films and women, women, women. Okay, they'll do it. And then if those movies fail, well, goodbye, trend. You know, and they'll just... They'll just be quiet for, until it until it all dies, and then if you keep showing up with letters, I, I don't know if they're going to go for it after a while. So, don't follow the trends. Don't follow the trends. Don't become a trend. Don't try to end systematic racism. You're not you're not going to do that. Everybody knows you're not going to do that. This isn't this isn't a tool to. Uh, create a new humanity you're not going to end systematic racism uh you can't if you could define it maybe you could end it but I, I don't think you're doing that with this letter i think you're just look i wish you luck getting getting something financed i know how hard it is but you just pitch big movies pitch movies that they want and, and now couldn't be a better time to pitch movies if you're black or brown couldn't be a better time. They can't get enough of those kinds of movies for now. So make a name for yourself. That's what you do in Hollywood. And once you're a name, it doesn't matter the color of your skin. There's only one color that matters in Hollywood. And that is the green, green color of money. <laughs>